We are on another tour today. We are currently in Grundefjorder. I think I pronounced that right. Grundefjorder, uh, which is a really remote place in the north of Iceland. Now, there's no port here. There's no physical place for our uh, 140,000 ton cruise ship to dock. So it is a tender port. Now, for those people who don't know what a tender is, it's this. We dock in the middle of the bay and our lifeboats or our tender boats, as they're supposed to be called, uh, are, uh, are going to ferry us from the big ship to land. It's a bit of a long-winded process when there's a ship with 3,000 guests on board and we have to uh, uh, tender people off boat by boat. We have two boats, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, we have to make our way to land via these little ferries. Uh, pain in the neck for the crew. We hate this because we can't really get off till the, till the guests get off. And that can take a fair bit of time sometimes. So I'm on a tour today, therefore I get priority. And I'm going to explore this uh, weird and wonderful place called Grundefjord. Once again, I am on my tour duties today, quite clearly. I am no longer on the ship. And today we are in uh, this place. I'm going to try and pronounce it. Um, but this place is an hour north of the ship via a boat. We've got to catch a boat to get here. It's a very remote island. Nobody lives here. It's a it's a place with zero permanent population. A few scientists come and go, but this place is home to zero people. Um, it's that remote that we have to catch a little boat to get off the little boat. So our little boat is uh, is there, uh, which is like a what a thirty person boat. Um, we then have to tender off that boat. It's a fox. Wait. Okay, so there was an Arctic fox just over there on that little island, um, but no, I couldn't catch it on camera. Um, anyway, so yeah, so we're doing this tour today. Uh, there's 26 of us. Uh, I've lost nobody so far, but we've only just got it. Yeah, this place is so quiet, so beautiful. Uh, lots of midges, but um, yeah, beautiful, quiet. All you can hear are the, the birds and the foxes. Uh, the foxes make really weird noises. It's like a, I can't even describe it. It's like a, like a Wookiee slash a dog really weird and it, and it squeaks a bit too it's i can't describe it they sound really weird so hopefully we'll see some more foxes uh, hopefully we'll go see some whales we have got the chance today to see some whales again weather dependent and of course you can never guarantee that you'll see something like a whale but that'd be incredible if we get to see a whale that'd be incredible so it's a full day tour i left this morning at seven i've never been up so early in my life i left at seven I'm going to get back at about half past six, so it's a full day. Joanne is in the office on her own today, but in two weeks' time, she gets off the ship. I can't do this anymore. So this was a church. It was a church, and then uh, the, next, the, the next village along stole the church. I don't quite know how you steal a church, but apparently they stole the church. And this is all that remains now. A uh, little bell, just a little cobbles. Uh, around the outside which mark out where the church once was. For the super nerds like me, it's literally like walking around in something like Skyrim or The Witcher because you've just got all this beautiful nature all around you, these massive mountains all around you, open water. I don't know, it's beautiful. And it's so quiet, it is so quiet. All you can hear is the birds and the waterfall. And it's absolutely freezing. This place is so barren, it's so desolate. I've never been to a place like this before. There's just nothing here. And it's so harsh, the conditions are so harsh, it's so cold. This is the middle of summer and it's freezing. People that lived here, no one lives here anymore, but people that did live here eight years ago, my goodness. 
That could not have been easy. We're just on our way down to the doctor's house. Now there's no doctor there anymore. When the doctor did live here between 1920 and 1960, apparently. Uh, he was the only doctor for 500 miles, which meant anybody who needed attention, he had to walk that distance, treat the person, and then walk back. 500 miles is a long way to have to walk. I don't fancy that, chance that person's chances of survival. And now it's coffee house.